Hey everyone, Miss Lasseter here, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create your own AP Biology study plan. Now this video is geared for AP Biology, but you could actually use it for pretty much whatever AP test that you are preparing for. I am an AP Biology teacher, so that's my bias and that's what I'm geared towards, but you could really take this plan and enact it for any AP course that you have in order to prepare for the exams coming up this spring. Now make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to give you all the resources and tips that I normally give to my students when we're creating AP Biology study plans for outside of our class and also use the resources I've linked in the description below because there's some really great tools that you can use for free to get your AP study plan underway. So grab a cup of coffee or whatever study resources that you want and let's get ready to make our study plan. All right, so sitting down and making a study plan is one of the best ways that you can prepare for the AP Biology exam. When you have a plan written down, you're more likely to actually stick to it and have a strategic approach to your studying. Now, you could be watching this video months before the AP Biology exam or any AP exam, or you could be watching it just a few weeks before and you're stressed to figure out where to start with your review materials. You could even be planning a self-study program for AP Biology. If you're any of these students, all you need to do is sit down and watch the strategies that I'll explain here, and then you can apply them to whatever situation that fits your schedule and your needs. So here we go. I like to have my students create a study plan in addition to what we're already doing in class so that they can make a personalized schedule for themselves and their study needs. There's a lot of studying tools and strategies and resources out there, and some things that you can use are just not really effective in preparing for the exam. Others are, can be really effective. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of those resources and help you sit down to generate your own study plan. First and foremost, make sure you have the date and you are aware of your exam. If you're taking the exam in 2021, you could have an exam anywhere from early May to mid-June. So think about when your exam is and check out the dates that I've posted in the links below. If your exam is happening in early May, for example, for many students this year, then if you're about a month and a half or a month ahead of that exam, that's a good time to start your review. Anything longer than a month or a month and a half of review is really going to stretch your preparation abilities. Things you review at the beginning of that review period are not going to stick with you all the way to the exam. Obviously, you want to make sure you understand all the content that's been taught to you all year long, but you don't want to start too early either. Imagining that we're taking the exam on May 14th, I'll like my students to start their review plans maybe the first week of April. So I'm going to show you a calendar tool that I give my students and you can use it. The link to this document is in the description so you can make a copy of it and edit it for your needs as well. But what I want them to do and what I want you to do is to use this calendar to create a study schedule for outside of class prep that you could do to help you prepare for the AP Biology exam. You can make a copy for yourself and then you're going to fill out the blue sections of the calendar on this document below. You can also do this by hand if you're somebody who likes to write out your calendars. I've seen some really beautiful journals created but this template is easy and ready to go and I've updated it for 2021 so you can go ahead and take this calendar and use it right away if you want. So remember first, studying is most effective when you do it in small manageable chunks for short periods of time and it's active and focused. I have a bunch of other resources on good studying strategies and best ways to study so check out those links below but I'll mention some of these in this video too. So make sure when you make your study plan you're making specific tasks for yourself and what you plan to do as you study. Don't just say cellular respiration. Instead in your study plan you're going to want to pick something like flashcards for cellular respiration or watch the cellular respiration Bozeman video or do cellular respiration practice questions from the Princeton Review. You want to make sure you're as specific as possible so when it's time to study you don't waste time figuring out what you need to do in that study period. Especially if you've chunked out 20 minute study sessions a day, you want to make sure you are maximizing that time. How much time should you devote to your study plan? Well, I would say no more than 30 minutes a day, especially if you have other classes and other APs that you have to balance. Remember, this is on top of your classwork, on top of all the other things that you have to do. So if you're prepping for the AP exam, anywhere from 10 to 15 to 20 minutes a day is probably a good reasonable amount that you can devote for yourself. If you only plan to study for AP Bio, maybe 20 minutes every other day in preparation for the exam. That's fine too. I wouldn't suggest just having one weekend cram session. That's not an effective way to create a study plan. But if you plan to do longer chunks on the weekends, that's a good strategy too. You probably have more time and you can devote a longer study period then. Remember also to stick to the schedule that you have created for yourself. The more diligent you are with your study patterns, the more effective your studying will be. Once you get into a pattern and a rhythm of your study sessions, you will be able to work through content pretty quickly and get 
to the part that you need to do. And remember, do not sacrifice sleep for long study sessions, give yourself breaks, and make your mental health a priority too. We're living in tough times, and this is a very stressful course. AP exams are stressful. Make sure you are scheduling it in days that you don't study at all, and that you're making sure to prioritize your sleep schedule if you can. All right, so you can see here, I have a blank calendar. In the white sections, if it was for my class, I would write down what we're doing in class in those days. Maybe it's finishing up some content, maybe it's taking tests, maybe it's doing review activities. But sometimes your own personal review schedule can complement what's being done by the teacher in your AP Biology class. So you may wanna take the time to jot down what's happening in class, if you know it ahead of time, and then generate your AP Biology study plan. Maybe you have days off or spring break or teacher work days, you wanna make sure you note that on your calendar as well, because if there's disruptions to your normal everyday schedule, that may disrupt your study plan as well. So each day, document how long you're gonna study and what specific activities you plan to do. Maybe on the weekends, you wanna devote at least one hour minimum to studying for AP Biology, so you can write it in there. I have all the weeks written out all the way up to the exam, which is on May 14th if you're taking the first administration. That weekend, right before the exam, you may wanna do one longer study period, but I wouldn't go anything beyond three hours on one day. So where do you start with your content? Think about the entire year's worth of content you've studied so far in AP Biology. Then make a list of the things you remember as being the most challenging, you doing the poorest on, or things that you really just don't don't get. Strong students have actually been shown to underestimate things that they know well and overestimate things that they don't know. So take a long hard look at how you did throughout the year and which tests you really struggled on. Make those a priority for the things that you want to study first and devote the most time to. Then work backwards from what you started with in the year because that's the oldest content you may have the most trouble remembering. So for example, on your first day, you may want to say watching and note-taking Bozeman videos is your first activity in that day. The next day, make sure to integrate what you've already done. So review notes from previous Bozeman videos, work on a packet and make cellular respiration flashcards. That's quite a bit of work, so you may not be able to accomplish it all. Make sure you've chunked it down into manageable tasks. Next up, on the next day, you review those cellular respiration flashcards, you take the cellular respiration practice quiz in your review book, and then you outline your incorrect answers. You always want to be building on things that you do well on and then continuing to improve things that you do poorly on. Practice that repetition of things in your brain will actually help solidify the knowledge and information, and remember, you want to be implying your knowledge, not just memorizing things, because memorization isn't necessarily going to help you master the AP Biology exam. The next day, you could be watching videos and then rereading tricky sections of a topic in the textbook. Reading a textbook isn't my favorite way to study. If you didn't get it the first time, it may not sink in the second time. You might want to find a different method of content delivery other than a textbook if you didn't get it the first time around. And then maybe you can review with flashcards again, going back to that cellular respiration stuff, taking notes, outlining incorrect answers and then working on a packet, trying to integrate as many active studying things as you can. And then on the weekend, think about what you can do. Maybe integrate this into your weekend activities by listening to podcasts or watching videos on the go. So where can you go for these resources? Obviously, you can choose an AP Biology prep book. You don't have to though. And I have another video about the best prep books to look at if you're interested in doing that. You can watch review videos. So lots of people love Mr. Anderson and you can watch some of my review videos. I try to chunk down material into the really essential content and he does a good job of explaining stuff in detail and really explaining the why behind certain concepts. There's also some review apps and other online companies. Fiveable is a great one with an online community and you can reach out to other students and teachers, so I would recommend them as well. And then of course the College Board puts out AP videos in preparation for the exam too, so I've linked those here if you wanna check them out. I also have a podcast that I made a while ago. It is along the old format of AP Biology, but the content is still valid and a lot of those episodes are still gonna be helpful if you would rather do something on the move, if you're going for a run or a walk and you want to listen instead of staring at a screen. One of the best ways to study, and I hope you incorporate this into your study plan, is old AP Biology FRQs. So I've put the links to the, all of them from 2013 and beyond, and I have another video on really how to do well on AP Biology FRQs, but I will say here, practicing them and scoring them yourself and making sure you give yourself the right amount of time that you're going to have on the exam is really key to becoming comfortable with those FRQs for the 
real day of exam. If you wanna do a full FRQ, it's 90 minutes for all of the questions. So sit down, give yourself 90 minutes to work, that's an hour and a half, see how many you can do, and practice answering as best you can, and then scoring yourself to see how you did. Then those things that you got wrong, make sure you make the focus of your study sessions later on. I've also listed here some of my favorite study tactics. There's a lot of things you can do to study, some of them more effective than others. Try to integrate active studying strategies into your study plan. These are things like flashcards, writing questions, practicing questions, making mnemonics and word associations, creating mind maps or creating drawings yourself. All of these things are active integrations of the content and hopefully they will help you remember things and understand things better for the exam. Remember, a lot of AP Biology isn't just being able to spit out content, it's being able to apply that content in context of an experiment or a set of data or a phenomenon. And then there's always great strategies for working with other people. You can be quizzed by a friend, you can quiz a friend, you can explain a concept to a friend, you can make a game of studying with friends. Whatever you feel like will be most effective for you and being able to get to the content that you need to review the most. So go ahead and play around with this calendar. Think about how you can make it your own, what activities you could add to it, and try to integrate it with what you're already doing in class. If you're watching this video and you're only a week out from the exam, parse it down into the most important things that you feel like you need to review so that you can be ready for the exam day. What strategies have been helpful for you in your study plans? Make sure to leave your comments below if you have anything to share and help other students. Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like and I'll see you later.